Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to discuss one of the biggest wasted opportunities in Wings of Fire, Vulture. This video contains spoilers for Darkness of Dragons, so if you haven't read that book then please click off. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Out of every Wings of Fire villain, Vulture is by far my least favorite. He's stereotypical, your typical villain trope, and definitely one of the most wasted opportunities in the series. And that's why this bothers me. Vulture had the potential to be something greater. In Darkness of Dragons, we introduced the filler antagonist in the middle of the book, before it switches back to Darkstalker, and it only feels like Vulture is introduced to create some minor conflict and then scurry away. Tui had the opportunity to create Vulture as an intimidating, powerful crime lord similar to Kingpin. He'd rule over the low-life sandwings with an iron grip, using fear to control and manipulate them. This is what I would have loved to see for the character, and I'm extremely disappointed that instead we ended up getting a very boring filler villain with almost zero personality. I would have absolutely loved to see scenes depicting the fear he created by even looking dragons in the eye, making the stakes in the book feel much higher. I think the biggest problem with Vulture is that he sort of appeared out of the blue and then disappeared just as quickly. We should have seen more of him before, slowly starting to hype up this villain and show just how awful he really is, and how much he actually controls in the Scorpion Den. In Book 5, there could have been a scene of Sunny overhearing two Sandlings talking about the fate of a dragon who crossed Vulture, and Six Claws telling her to never get anywhere near that dragon. Even that would have set him up a little bit, because all we got was a mention in Winter Turning and a quick appearance of him in a vision during Moon Rising. Since he was the villain for the middle part of the book, Seeing him tease longer would have made the dramatic reveal a lot more interesting. There could even have been the possibility of Vulture's gang and followers fighting thorns, though his dragons fought much more brutally. He would have used it as an opportunity to say that Thorn was weak, and how he was going to be the new ruler of the Scorpion Den. Instead of lurking in the shadows and controlling things secretly, Vulture could have completely taken over the Sandman Kingdom right under Thorn's nose. Dragons he commanded at outposts would kill all the followers of Thorn at his command, allowing him to practically trap every remaining Sandwing. This would have created a much better conflict and actual drama for the series, with Thorn and Keebly having to work together in order to get a regime to take back the Sandwing Kingdom. Not only would it have made Vulture a more intimidating villain, but this would have been such an awesome rebellion to see. And even after Vulture would get defeated by Keebly, he would still have dragons stationed in shipping business businesses to stop trade and make life more difficult for Thorn as queen. The followers who only joined him out of fear would happily submit to Thorn, with some being paranoid that Vulture wasn't really dead or imprisoned, but those who supported his views would continue to rebel in smaller ways, such as destroying goods that were being traded to the towns, purposely creating conflict, etc. I genuinely would have loved to see scenes like this. Especially maybe even one where Vulture sat on the Sandwing throne, declaring that he was the king of the Sandwings. Thorn and Keebly would have to take back the kingdom and gather the most brave Sandwings to assist their rightful queen. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think? Would you have preferred for this kind of storyline, or do you enjoy the Vulture that we got? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.